Welcome to our new show, Austin Tech Vlog. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss new videos, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Savannah. This is my boyfriend, Harry, and our two dogs, Daisy Fuentes Jr. and Young Buck. We live in a 635 square foot one bedroom apartment in Austin, Texas, and we have a baby on the way. Keeping our apartment tidy is a challenge because the dogs shed a lot of hair. I'm busy and with our family growing, I needed a little help so we decided to purchase iRobot Roomba E5 Vacuum Cleaner. In this video, we are going to give a full review of the Roomba and share our experience living with the robot in our home. Its compact size makes this perfect for our apartment. The Roomba is currently ranked third place in Consumer Reports, Best Robotic Vacuums of 2018. We paid $350 plus taxes in store at Sam's Club for our Roomba and the pricing online can vary and can be as high as $450. Now originally I was hesitant to spend so much on a vacuum cleaner because we saw a new regular vacuum cleaner as cheap as $50. After thinking about it a little longer we decided for us having a small vacuum would be ideal for our small home as it would be easier to store. Now let's get to the fun part, the unboxing. This is our new Roomba, and it is as light and compact as I thought it would be. It comes with one docking station that charges the Roomba, instruction manual, and details on its one year manufacturer's warranty. It also comes with three disposable filters and a charging cable. This thing is like the iPhone of vacuum cleaners. The standard Roomba comes with iRobot's Archon sensor and flexible bumper Roomba calls its light touch sensor. This release button on the side opens the dustbin so you can empty it. This is also how you change the filter. One filter should last for about two months, but your experience can vary. This giant clean button in the middle powers up the Roomba. The home button sends it back to the docking station. And this is the spot clean button for focusing on one small spot area around three to four square feet. There are four sensors on the bottom of the unit. The edge sweeping brush gets the hard to reach corners and coaster wheel navigates the Roomba. The Roomba's main multi-surface brush is easily removable so it can be cleaned. Now let's put this thing to the test. And you can see we have a lot of dog hair on the floor. Once I've charged the unit, I turn it on and activate with my phone, and well, that's about it. Roomba does the rest. The one drawback is that it can't handle liquids, but iRobot makes other products that can. It can even step up to raised carpets and rugs plus the convenience of the Roomba cleaning on a schedule by itself means I shouldn't even need to think about it. The Roomba will return home when it either is full or finished. Cleaning is pretty easy. Just pop the dustbin out and empty it. Over overall, we like the Roomba and it has saved us hours of cleaning up after our shedding dog. $350 is expensive, but I have a feeling if I add up the hours I saved from cleaning up dog hair, it should be a good value for us. 
I hope that you liked this video and if you did go ahead and hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell to get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks again for joining us on the Austin Tech Vlog and we will see you next time.